I've had the good fortune of being associated with this program right from its start more than 10 years ago. So I've been on the external review committee since and I visited Portugal many times and I've attended various meetings and I've seen the projects, I've met the people. So my comments are based upon that long-term experience rather than what I've seen yesterday and today. So the first point really is that every time there has been a review, we found a significant improvement. And let me define what I mean by improvement. It is the improvement in terms of the quality of the research that's going on, in terms of the interactions between Portuguese PIs, Portuguese researchers, Portuguese faculty, and Carnegie Mellon faculty. And increasingly, we've seen a greater involvement with industry. Okay. So this time around, it's a reflection on the recommendations that were made at the last event. And those really were based upon our observation that the program had matured from the first phase where it was very much to do with innovative research and collaboration and bringing universities together to work with Carnegie Mellon to this new phase of what I'd call the innovation and enterprise programs, which is to see how the work that's gone on in collaborative programs provides value to Portugal. And what we saw was the projects maturing, greater interaction with industry, more people working, graduating from the program, either as masters or PhD level, going out to industry. And increasingly, at this time round in particular, we were impressed by the number of spin-outs and startups that have taken place. At that dinner, there were a large number of relatively young individuals who had been to the joint program, they'd either done the dual PhDs or they'd been on master's courses, but they'd then been groomed through something called the INRES program, which is a residential program in Carnegie Mellon. And that helped them spin out uh, companies. And there were people at different phases of their startups. Some were one year old, some were two, some were three, some were mature. Uh, and in each of these cases, they made the point that although they had in mind establishing companies, the experience of going to Carnegie Mellon, spending time, although it's a very short period, uh, six weeks, helped them start up their companies, gave them greater focus on doing that. They were appreciative of the network and the guidance that was given. So that is one piece of the uh, work we saw. We saw an a number of projects under the uh, ERI program uh, and these had to do with a closer integration between fundamental research, uh, taking it to a stage where they would partner with industry and then the industry benefiting out of that research. So we saw a number of these projects. I reviewed two, each one of us were reviewing two projects. Uh, I, th I think there were about 12 of those, yeah, there were 12 projects. And in each case, they were very successful. They reached that <coughs> level of maturity where good research had been conducted. But the key point over there was the recognition that the outcomes of these projects materially benefited from either the researchers or the faculty spending time in Portugal or vice in, in, in CMU or vice versa, CMU faculty coming and working. So the integration of work between the Portuguese teams and the um, CMU teams was very, very useful. And it was implicit that it was this integration that led to the success of the projects. Now, a number of these projects are reaching the maturity. So they're getting to the stage where they've been partnering with industrial companies who may take up the work or they may lead to products that could be of benefit to Portugal. Um, in other cases where the program is relatively new and some of them are two years old, one year old, 
they're on good track to be successful in terms of research and outcomes. The thing that I found here was it's what I'll call relevant research so that the partnering with industry benefits both the researchers, uh, the PIs, the research staff, the faculty and the companies. So that mix of researchers, good faculty, industry has been of great benefit to this program. Yes, I think when the program started, that's 10 years ago, there was a need to do one of several things. One was to promote closer working between Portuguese universities, right? At that time, there were lots of universities that were doing their own thing, but just to bring them together, then to work with Carnegie Mellon. And the whole objective was to raise the standard, not just of education, but of research, okay? And that has very definitely happened. As a reflection of it, it is very clear that people recognize that the work they're doing is world class, and that gives them an inner confidence which may or may not have been there 10 years ago. So that has been a benefit. It's, it's what I'd call a maturing of a relationship where people learn from each other and then they uh, essentially are able to recognize the value of their own work. I mean, we met that's at some of these small companies, but we also met companies that were spun out maybe two, three years ago, and they are attracting huge amounts of external venture capital, which is bringing money into Portugal. I think uh, it's the director of FCT said, or somebody said that, you know, they're talking about $100 million worth of investment coming into Portugal, which may not have happened without this program. And it is also related to that, the creation of high value jobs. These are not what I call, you know, just in several other countries, they rely on a manufacturing and screwdriver plants. These are companies and these are jobs being created which are of great value. It's individuals who are trained at a very high level of expertise. So, I mean, there have been significant benefits coming out of the program and they manifest themselves, if as you say, in the conference of the individuals and the work, when we, these companies are being set up. The other aspect that I did not touch upon was the quality of publications. Each of the projects has produced 10, 15, 20 papers and these are published in world-class journals or made presentations at international conferences that raise the profile of work that's going on in Portugal.